Well, I finally got my water line ran all the way out here near where we're going to build. I've been trying to get this done for two months. The weather did not cooperate. It had just rained and rained and rained. Finally, we've had a good week of dry. And we got to put this water line finally in. It ended up 900 feet of water line. I ended up using that blue polyethylene rolled pipe and uh, got in 500 foot rolls. Took 500 foot to get it uh, from the pole barn in the front to this barn right here. And then we put a, a valve box in, so and a T, a couple valves, so I can later go to the barn with some water. And then ran another 400 feet over here. And down here we got a valve box. What this is, is it's a water meter uh, case down here in the ground. And I've got a, couple, a T and a couple valves here too. I've got uh, one to go to the house, which we're within 100 feet where we're going to build the house. And then I've got another one where I can go out to a pole barn later. Let's go ahead and let me open this up. I'll show you what it looks like inside of these valve boxes. As you look down inside this, uh, basically this water meter well, you can see I got a T and I got two ball valves down there. I'm going to come out of this one, go toward the house, and then that one over there, I'll, I'll have it later so I can take water out to a, a pole barn later. And I've got basically the same configuration down there at the big old barn. One problem I had is that I ended up being in the dirt way too deep. I do have two extensions that I picked up today that I'm going to be able to raise these up and keep these lids at uh, at ground level so that I can access them. So I will have to add an extension here at the top of each one of these to get them up to grade. As we were running the water line out, we were able to to basically tee off and come out and we dropped two water hydrants. We got one water hydrant right here next to the strawberry boxes out here at the uh, the orchard. And uh, the other one is is up there uh, not too far from this uh, the garden so that uh, we were able to get a hose to reach the uh, the chicken coop in the garden and it's and it's a shorter distance than running a hose from the camper I'll also be able to use the water hydrant uh, for the construction of the house so as we're out here building this house i'll have access to water if you need to clean up anything like if you're doing something with concrete or any other material you'll have that to be able to to clean uh, or wash anything you need to uh, with water so it's nice to have water out here near the build site uh, again we're within about 100 feet of where we're planning on building and um, now the next thing to do is i gotta get some electric out here and get my road out here There's really just been a lot of stuff going on lately. We are hitting things from so many different angles because we are we are selling our house. We are trying to move uh, parts of our you know belongings out to our out to this property. We have a storage unit that we're moving stuff into, and and we're still trying to keep this construction moving along so that we can build a cabin right here, overlooking our pond, and. Uh, so things are just moving along. Uh, concrete companies coming out later this week. Uh, they're going to look the job site over and make sure everything looks good. And then hopefully in a few weeks we will be digging and starting our basement. So I can't wait for that to happen. But yet before that happens, I really got to get my road done out here. So I'm really hoping to make progress this weekend on the road. And uh, also try to get my... Uh, everything ready so the electric company can come out here set the poles and so I can have my electric service out here so a lot of stuff happening it's really hard to film everything but I will try to do my best so stay tuned and uh, thank you for watching <laughs>